A drill is a round end cutting tool with one or more cutting edges and one or more straight or helical flutes. Drills with two edges and flutes are by far the most common. Drill types include helically fluted twist drills made of either high speed steel or carbide and indexable insert drills which have steel bodies with one, two or more carbide inserts. Carbide drills are stiffer than high speed steel drills so deflection is less, cutting speeds are faster and holes are more accurate. Carbide drills are especially useful in hard or abrasive materials. Solid drills of high speed steel or carbide dominate applications up to about a 5 8 inch or 20 millimeter diameter. Spade drills and indexable insert drills cover the larger size ranges. The twist drill is a roughing tool with two cutting lips. The three essential parts of the twist drill include the shank, the flutes, and the point. The shank is the means by which the drill is held and driven. Twist drill shanks may be straight for use in collets and keyed or keyless type drill chucks. Shanks may also be tapered for mounting directly into machine spindles or sleeves which fit in spindles. Flutes let coolant into and carry chips out of the hole being produced. Both of these functions are essential for the drill point to continue cutting under the severe conditions of rotating at high speed in an enclosed space. The helix angle of a drill's flutes can vary dependent upon the material to be drilled. A standard helix angle of 25 to 33 degrees is optimal for steel and cast iron. A high helix or fast spiral angle of 35 to 40 degrees is used for low strength materials like aluminum. And a low helix or slow spiral angle of 15 to 20 degrees is used for drilling brass and plastics. The drill point, which does the work of metal cutting, is formed by the two cutting lips and the chisel edge. Even though drilling is the most common metal cutting operation, the majority of drilling is not performed on drill presses or other dedicated drilling machines. Most hole making is accomplished using lathes, machining centers, high production transfer machines, or almost any machine capable of providing a relative rotation between the workpiece and cutting tool. The sensitive drill press is a low power drilling machine used for drilling one hole at a time in small workpieces with small diameter twist drills. The manual feed gives the operator the feel for the operation, which is why this machine is called the sensitive drill press. Although this drill press used to be a common device in most shops, it has now largely been replaced by the more versatile knee mill for most manual low volume hole making operations. The radial drill is used for drilling in large workpieces. It has the flexibility to reach surfaces that cannot otherwise be reached easily. The arm, which moves up and down, carries an adjustable position drill head that can be raised, lowered, and pivoted around the column. Gang drilling machines consist of two or more drilling machines mounted on a common base or table. Often, these machines are operated sequentially with each spindle carrying a different tool and workpieces moved from one spindle to the next. Self-feeding drilling units operate automatically for repetitive work once the stroke, speed, thrust and feed have been set. They can be used for reaming, tapping or other operations as well as drilling and can be mounted singly or in groups. In mass production, most drilling is done with multi-spindle machines or drilling units with anywhere from two to ten or more individual drill spindles. Rotary motion from a central source is transmitted to the multiple spindles. The layout with the positions and distances set between the individual spindles is designed to fit a specific part. NC drill and tap centers are like lightweight machining centers dedicated to hole making rather than milling. The tool changer is usually equipped with 12 to 20 tools, allowing multiple operations to be performed on single or multiple holes.